Dr. Karen Can here with another edition of the Spiritual Medicine Digest. I'm going to try to make it quick today. Why? Because I just spent the last 10 minutes fiddling around with my uh, little desk thingy here um, <laughs> trying, to get the, trying to get the screen at the right level and uh, anyway um so one of the most important things that have come up this past week and is uh continuing is we are in the second phase of the ascension cycle meaning that we've just completed the first phase which was all about expansion right so expansion we check our boundaries see you know turn down our sensitivities um now it doesn't mean that all of a sudden you're no longer sensitive because we still have high sensitivity so definitely if you're sensitive you want to check your sensitivity dial you know uh for all things that are lower vibrational and uncomfortable where's your sensitivity dial at out of 10 you want it to be a zero or one or you know um zero if, if ideal and um you might need a higher sensitivity to certain things so you may have to figure out what you have high sensitivity to and whether that's necessary whether that be your soul destiny partner your alternate uh, live alternate soul destiny partner mass consciousness that kind of thing so we are now entering that second phase which is the rising phase so in this phase we definitely have more access to a higher dimensional realms and uh, they have access to us vice versa um, some of you may be transmuting energies from mass consciousness um, the you know universe multiverse omniverse which I guess includes the multiverse plus the spiritual realms of the omniverse um, so if that's the case uh, you can basically quicken the process because you may have one or two you know symptoms here and there you may want to quicken the process by helping whatever it is you're transmuting energies for by sending essential one or two uh, or both uh, to those areas as well and that we might you know is a quick way of just kind of getting it faster so you're not spending your own personal time I suppose uh, transmuting those energies so I found that have been really helpful for me this week so I discovered one day I was transmuting energies from the omniverse uh, so I went ahead and go ahead and you know imagined I commanded the ascension one and two be used to clean and clear all issues related to this energy transmutation that I was aiding of the omniverse and then after I did that I was no longer transmuting energies for the omniverse so if you're having some symptoms crop up just know that might make you know as per usual might not be yours um, if you're transmuting energies and that is your job great um, you can help along by directing ascension one and two towards your target or if you're not supposed to be transmuting those energy and that's not part of your job uh, then you're gonna have to turn down your sensitivity dial to a zero for those issues and um, you know use the Topican healing level one guides right to figure out uh, why it is that you are doing that transmutation automatically when it's not supposed to happen for you and then correct the underlying issues causing that so the other thing that has come up is that um, you'll hear more about this in my new program uh, coming up in October unlike unlock your superpowers uh, learn the secrets of masterful manifestation uh, about uh, the cornerstones of divine alignment so just real brief it's light love truth and wholeness so you can actually check your own scores assuming your divine muscle testing is accurate so you can check your own scores in this timeline and alternate timelines and send healing to all that is preventing it to be 100%. And there's lots of different morphic fields. We've added to all of my um, uh, MP3s to help out with that as well. Uh, because sometimes it's like when you're transmuting energies for mass consciousness, yeah, maybe your light score go down, you know, and then we're like, oh, we don't want that to happen. So what can we do to prevent that? Or if you're proxying for someone and, and your soul destiny partner, then your love score goes down, you know. So these are kinds of things we want to avoid if possible. So keeping track of those cornerstones of divine alignment may be really helpful for you. And I find that that's kind of like a quick check to see where you're at. You know, a quick check of your, you know, like overall abundance, your ability to manifest what you want. Um, so if you can keep those as close to 100% or 100% as possible, and even in other timelines, uh, yay for you. <laughs> that would be awesome. So, yeah, so sometimes your sensitivity and mass consciousness may affect those things, for example. That's what's happening this week. And one of the big things is your subconscious mind is seemingly uh, during this uh, phase uh, may be sensitive to what's going on in mass consciousness so with the expansion the rising make sure you get grounded uh, this is very important in this phase 
and uh, you can actually check in with your subconscious mind that seems to be this week as well how happy and light is your subconscious mind so you can check the light score of your subconscious mind how aligned is it with the divine if it's not 100% aligned go ahead and send healing ascension 1 and 2 uh, to get that 100% and if you're not getting 100% then you can always use your Topican healing guides remember the guides right like these guys here you know, um, in the Light Warrior Advanced Healing Program to figure out why is it not going to 100%. Maybe there's a belief you need to know about that needs to be released or new positive morphic field that's in guide number two that you need to download that a lifetime of you is missing. So you have lots of tools, so definitely use them. Uh, you may also notice that uh, sometimes checking in because you're you know more sensitive now that there may be something else that's you know, messing you up or lowering some of these scores. Uh, one of the things that's come up a couple times is water. So um, aquifers that are underneath the surface of the earth, anything close to your property, for example, may affect you uh, and you may feel or sense uh, things. So you could check to see if any water around you is part of the environment that might need to change. If that's the case, it's very simple. You just locate where that water is, that body of water that you're sensing or that is affecting you and go ahead and just send Ascension 1 or 2 um, or both uh, to that to clean and clear it. Check the light score before and after and you're good to go. Yay! <laughs> All right, so I'm really looking forward to working with you. Uh, we do have a uh, free mini healing coming up on Monday, I believe. I think that's what uh, Jennifer had scheduled for us. So on the radio show, 3 p.m. on Monday, we'll be doing free mini healings. And uh, we're going to go over, you know, how do you connect to source and how do you get your own answers from source. And we'll be using Topican Healing Guides live on the show to help people with their free mini healings. So please get on my mailing list at KarenCan.com to get that exact link where you can connect, phone numbers, etc. all on the email. And if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel and would like to get up to speed on everything that's going on in the spiritual world, you can go ahead and hit the subscribe button on YouTube as well. Until next time, lots of love. Bye for now.